What it do, Style Crew, and hey to my Lonnie babes. It's your girl, Jay Styles, and I'm back with another video. So jumping right into the video, this is a lip gloss video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my Nebula lip gloss. So starting off with a brown pigment, I'm going to put my pigment in a separate bowl, and then I'm going to put oil in it, and I'm going to break it up, and I'm going to mix it until it's smooth, because that is how you get your mica powders to pigment your lip gloss you want to add the oil and mix all the oils with the pigment before you pour it into the base y'all my work phone started ringing the ghetto mm, mm. but you see me now mixing in my oil so these are the oils that i like to use i like to use coconut oil vitamin e oil and sweet almond oil i was forgetting the one but yes, those are my three oils, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, and I'm going to mix that with the powder again until I get a nice smooth consistency to pour over my lip gloss base. And I'm so sorry for my background, like it is raining while I'm trying to do this voiceover. So like, it's just real ghetto here right now. But you guys can see me mixing vigorously. I don't play with the mixing. And I add some liquid pigment into it as well because I feel like the liquid plus the powder combines to make a richer pigment. That's me personally. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to mix it vigorously before I pour it into my base. And I pour it in my base in sections because, again, it's oil and I don't want all of the oil to thin out my lip gloss completely so i pour it in sections if i need more pigment but not more oil i will use the liquid pigment i will not use the powder pigment because child let me tell you when you are trying to mix powder into a already mixed kind of situation like this right here not when you do it from the beginning that's different you know, you can add the powder directly into it. But when you've mixed it in the oil and then you've poured it into your gel and then you try to put more powder into this mixture, the gel mixture with this oil pigment concoction, you will not get those pigment pieces out. Like I tried everything. Don't do it. Just pour in sections. If you need more pigment but not more oil, use the liquid pigment. Use the liquid. And here we go with the mixing. This mixing is a different level of mixing. You have to mix and mix and mix because it kind of starts to look weird. Do you see that? It's like looking like ooh. before it becomes so super smooth, rich, and you can pull it. So what I show... I made it way thinner than that, but just know we was over here pulling some gloves, okay? So now I'm adding my special ingredient. When I start wholesaling, you guys will have access to this formula. This formula is so, so lit. I'm going to say that it's lit because I did my research and I really took the time to make a very nice pigmented yet shiny lip gloss. My clear lip gloss will shine, baby. It will shine. Thank you. So when I start wholesaling, you guys can get all the tea. But until then, try my gloss. Do you see how smooth that is? Now, this is not baking, okay? There is no over mixing in lip gloss. Mix it until it is smooth. So what I like to do is pull up my lip gloss through the syringe because I feel like this is the least messiest way to fill up lip gloss. However, 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 you guys can see me struggling those air bubbles are not a joke. You have to take your time filling this up because you want to make sure that you pop out the air bubbles, which will spill out some lip gloss, but not spill out all the lip gloss so you can pull up some more. See, air bubble coming. Got to push it out. Pushing it out. Sucking it back in. Pushing it out. Sucking it back in. 
it is a whole process it is going to take time but take your time get all the air bubbles out the other way pouring it from the top in i've noticed with my formula that when i push in my syringe it just it just it's one big air bubble so it just pushes all of the gloss out and it just defeats the whole entire purpose of me putting the gloss in the syringe so this is the way that i do it this is the way i've started doing it and this is the way i like to do it when i'm done with this i clean off the tip with my napkin stick on my pipette and we are good to go so i just get through this process of sucking up the syringe and yeah when the pipette is on the pipette is hard to take off so when you need more gloss you just have to fill it up through the pipette yes it is longer the hole is small and it definitely gets messier but that's the way that i like to do it so that's the way that i do it another tip that i like to give you guys um before you actually start seeing me fill up the lip gloss is after you fill up this syringe after you clean it off and you put your pipette on wipe down the syringe and after you wipe down the syringe and clean it off really well you're going to stick on your pipette and make sure that there's no lip gloss residue like really on there on the syringe and then you want to change your gloves because what i've noticed is that with the same gloves the residue of the lip gloss even though i'm going to give it a lip gloss bath the residue still touching the bottle makes it harder for the lip gloss bath to actually remove the sticky lip gloss oil so you can see in the light that there's some residue left on the on the syringe I didn't switch my gloves in this video, but I noticed that moving forward because it was just giving me such a hard time with all the residue that was left. I was like, okay, let me try something else. Let me clean my gloves and see like if I try my hardest to not get lip gloss anywhere, see what happens. And it actually made a really big difference. So that's just my tip that change the gloves so you don't get, you see the oil that's on my glove. If I was wearing new gloves, it wouldn't get on the bottle and it just make it easier. So as you guys can see, pushing lip gloss is not easy. A lot of videos you will see either people are shaking or they are sped up. So you're going to see both. You're going to see me shaking. So you're going to get the nitty gritty and then you're going to get the sped up video. So with these tubes, you guys know the drill. You only fill it up right to the line of the pink because the stopper will push the lip gloss out. Today's vlogmas video is a how-to video on showing you guys how I'm making my lip gloss. It's also part of my Girl Boss series. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog video how-to. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Also, please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel for more content we would love to have you here so thank you guys so 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 much i love ya okay for real take care <laughs> bye